Hey guys, um, this is Rob and that's one here, and I'm here to do a review for Arrow Episode 9, The Climb. Uh, this is the mid-season finale of Arrow, um, and out of all of the mid-season finales, um, I liked this one the most. Um, and I think the reason why I liked this one the most was because it surprised me the most. Um, a lot of um, the comic book shows, we, you know, I felt like were kind of guessable. Um, I felt like we knew what was happening with Flash. We knew that eventually he was going to meet um, Reverse Flash. Um, and I felt like I, I kind of already predicted the fact that it, it was Harrison Wells. Um, we knew what was going to happen with Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. was going to be Inhuman related. Um, Constantine was Constantine. Like, I love Constantine. Gotham was a bit more surprising as well. But I felt like with Arrow, um, because Arrow has been a very, very slow burning and hasn't been a great, it hasn't been what I, I think of Arrow in se from season one and two. Um, I like the fact that Arrow gave me a bit of a surprise. Because lately it hasn't been surprising me. Um, it's just like been a bit dull. Um, but yeah, I think with um this show, I think um the the episode is um is a, a Christmas episode. Um, but unlike Flash, it isn't shoved down our throats. Um, and it's more of a... It's more of a... Story that sets up, um... You know, that, that has a major, major plot turns and twists and that kind of thing. Um... <coughs> <clears throat> um, <clears throat> so, in this episode, um, Oliver goes up against the League of Shadows, um, who basically, um, are going uh, after, um, the Arrow because he has failed to come up with whoever killed um, Black Canary. And basically Oliver finds out in this episode that it was Thea who killed, um, who killed Black Canary. Whilst being mind controlled by Merlin. And, and, <coughs> and basically, um, Merlin found this drug in Courtaum Altis and used it to be, to mind control, um, fear into killing Black Canary. Um, <coughs> and the reason why Merlin did that was so that he could pit Oliver against Ra's al Ghul. And if Oliver won, that would mean that Merlin would be free to do whatever he wants. Um, <coughs> so, um, Oliver has to make the ultimate sacrifice 
and goes to face um, of Ra's al Ghul. In the flashbacks, um, we have Oliver and Katana's husband, who I thought was going to die at some point. Um, apparently not. Um, so, um, Katana's husband actually is revealed to still be alive and is now working with Ra's al Ghul. But in flashbacks, um, him and Oliver go on a mission where they find, naturally, a mind-controlling agent. Um, which bizarrely has the Omega symbol, which really made me interested in um, it, in the story even more. Because if those of you who have watched Smallville, Omega, the Omega symbol is the symbol of Darkseid in that show. So it got me curious as to whether or not it actually connected to Darkseid in some way. And that, and that maybe the mind control um, agent was sort of like the anti-life equation. That's a theory, but it really, really did make me curious about that, um, about that element. And, yeah, I just, I just got really, really interested in that part of the story. And, Fear Queen um, is definitely moving into a very, very interesting direction. Um, she and Oliver, she and um, Arrow have a fight in this episode. That shows that she is definitely capable of more than we think that she is. Um, so I'm very, very curious to see what's going to happen with her next season. And what kind of direction they're going to take with her. Is she going to be Cheshire? Or is she going to be Speedy? Really, really interested to know. Um, I love what's going on with Laurel. Um, I like the fact that, um, Diana Lance actually pushed Laurel into becoming Black Canary. Um, it seems that, like, um, Laurel is on a path now to becoming, um, a hero. Um, because Diana, because... Laurel's mother finds out about Sarah being dead. Um, so I like the fact that Laurel is on a path. And it, it's going to be very interesting to see what happens with the with her in the upcoming series in the upcoming episodes because apparently we're getting a Black Canary trilogy. Um, which will will have Laurel be Black Canary. So really interested in that. Um, I am especially interested in um, what's going on with Palmer. Um, Felicity is, I think it's pretty much established now that Felicity is the watchtower of, of, of this universe. Um, much like Chloe Sullivan, um, Felicity seems to be involved in a lot of, um, watchtower type, um, scenarios, where she seems to be part of a lot of hero secrets. And, and that's particularly evident in this episode, because um, Palmer reveals that he is creating the Atom Suit. Um, which again still looks like 
an Iron Man suit to me, but whatever. And and finally, we get on to um. Finally, we get on to um Oliver's fight with Ra's al Ghul. Um, the fight was absolutely great. Um, I I thought the fight was really really good, and it's and it also establishes that the Lazarus Pit does exist. And um, and it's possible and more likely that Oliver is going to be put into the Lazarus Pit. Um so yeah, I just I, I just really really like that fact. Um like that fight. And I also liked um that Oliver lost. Um, the only person who has really stood up against Ra's al Ghul is Batman. And there is a reason for that, because Ra's al Ghul is considered by... is a very skillful fighter. And I sort of like the fact that he overpowered, um... overpowered, um... Oliver, and it, it sort of speaks to what Oliver's been going through, because Oliver has said that um, he feels like his life as the Arrow is all he really has. Um, and, but in this episode, it establishes that it's not all he has. He has his sister. My minor complaint is that a lot of what he did, um, a lot of that, a lot of what he was going through in this season, kind of got rewritten in this episode, so that Oliver could basically say, oh, well, I now have something to fight for. Um, it felt like really weird writing to me, and it didn't really seem to fit in with what Olive was going through. But again, guys, really like the episode. Um, so yeah, uh, stay tuned for um, the next uh, episode ten, I believe, um, which comes out at the end of January sometime, so stay tuned for that, and uh, yeah, I hope you're enjoying the Arrow reviews, and I will try and continue them for as long as I can, so yeah, see you all soon, bye.